In this video, I'm gonna be talking about website speed again. This video is basically a follow up to my last video on website speed, which was this one. Did you see it? If not, I'll put a link up to it now. Basically in that video, I had a guy, a random guy on the internet approached me and he increased the speed of my website. We got up into the 70s on Google PageSpeed for mobile and into the 90s uh, for the desktop. Well, basically since then I've met another random guy and well, check these speeds out. We're now up in the 90s on the mobile and we've hit 100 on the desktop. The site's loading in less than two seconds and yeah, it's fantastic. So let me share with you exactly what happened and what changes have been made to the site. Let's go. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Hope you're all keeping safe and well, and washing your hands and all that good stuff. Before we get started, if you're new here, why not subscribe? You can do so by clicking the button below. Make sure you click the bell and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. And if you enjoyed this video, if you find it useful, then please click the like button. That really does help me out. So if you've seen my last video, you'll recall that a random guy called SJ approached me and said that he could improve the speed of my affiliate marketing website, bestroofbox.com. I let him have a go on the site and yeah, he did a good job. He managed to get the speed on Google PageSpeed score, which is the testing thing that I use to find out how fast my website is. He got the score up on mobile from, I think it was around 50 up to 70. And on the desktop, he got it into the green. It was, you know, well over 80. So I was, I was pretty happy with, with what he'd done. And, you know, I kind of left it at that. Anyway, since then, another random guy called Adnan approached me and said, I also do WordPress stuff. I've got gigs on Fiverr too. I reckon I can get your site running even faster. So I thought, well, you know, why not again? <laughs> so I gave him access to the site. He was really good with the communication. He added me on WhatsApp, we were chatting away and he was, you know, explaining everything that he was doing. It was, it was all really good. And after a little while, he came back and said that he'd done all the optimization and I ran the site through Google PageSpeed score and well, yeah, the results are fantastic. It's hitting over 80 on mobile and it hits 100 on the desktop, the site is loading in less than two seconds. And yeah, it just feels a lot faster. So I'm really, really pleased. Now, if you'd like to get in touch with Adnan, I'll put his email address uh, down there somewhere. And you'll find it in the description. Do drop him an email, mention my name and he'll sort you out. He's offered to do the service for 150, I think it was 150, uh, that's in dollars, kind of a flat fee and he'll you know sort you all out uh, and get your page speed score you know, high, really high in fact, uh, you know, possibly up to 100 on the desktop. So let me explain exactly what he did to my site. I've got a, I've got a list of things on my uh, phone here. The first thing that he did was he swapped out the plugin that I was using. So I was using WP Fastest Cache, which I thought was really good. I was running the premium version and it, you know, it seemed to be making a good uh, difference to the site in terms of the performance. But no, he scrapped that and he's installed WP Rocket, which I have heard a lot of good things about. Um, by the way, I'll put a link up to WP Rocket up there and you'll also find a link in the description if you fancy taking a look. It is a premium plugin and those links are affiliate links so I will earn a commission if you happen to click through and make a purchase. But yeah, that seemed to make quite a big difference on its own. In terms of other things that he did, he went through and he optimized the critical CSS so I think this is just a kind of process that these guys seem to run through where all the CSS that needs to be loaded is loaded first and the rest is loaded later, I think. Maybe you need to Google that a little bit more. I'm not too sure exactly what it is, but yeah, he's adjusted the critical CSS. He did some database optimization. Now there's a number of plugins that can do this for you. I think WP Rocket includes this feature, but you can get some standalone plugins um, that do it. Basically cleaning out all the stuff in the database that's no longer required, because you know when you add plugins and take them out and themes and all that kind of stuff, they can leave stuff behind in your database and it just slows everything down. So he's kind of optimized that, cleaned out all the rubbish. He did mention font optimization, but he didn't actually have to do any font optimization because it was done by SJ, the previous guy. Basically what that is, is making sure that your site only loads the fonts that you actually use uh, or are using on the site. And you know, rather than loading a hundred different fonts and you're only using four, it only loads those four to increase the performance. He optimized a few of the JavaScript requests and some of the other CSS requests so that they were loaded um, after the page had been rendered. So they were kind of non-essential things. 
and yeah, make sure that they were loaded after the page had been rendered. So yeah, basically that increases speed because you're not loading scripts and CSS that you don't actually need to show the page. He added a lazy load to some of the other scripts and he also did something that he says is he locally saved the analytics.js, which I guess is something to do with the analytics script and locally saving it. Um, but that seemed to improve the site speed at no end as well. Then he also adjusted the image lazy load. Uh, there was already a lazy load on there, but he changed it. And I, I guess he just used a WP rocket one. So with all that stuff combined, the site is now flying along. The page speed scores are nice and high. And well, I'm pretty confident the site's as fast as it's gonna be, but you know, we'll wait and see. Maybe someone else will get in touch and say they can do better. And well, if that's you, then get in touch with me and you know, you can have a try and see if you can get the site running even faster. So yeah, if you fancy checking out Adnan's services, you'll find his email address in the description. You'll also find a link to his website. He offers other services, not just speed optimization. He can help you with pretty much anything to do with WordPress. So if you need something fixing or tweaking, Adnan could be your guy. I found him really good to work with. The communication was fantastic. His English is really good. Um, you can speak to him on WhatsApp or on email and very responsive and very helpful. If you fancy giving WP Rocket a try, as I say, you'll find the link in the description. Why not just install that plugin first and see what difference it makes to your website. That brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know how your website is performing, both in terms of speed and earnings and traffic and all that stuff during this pandemic. I've heard from some viewers that their sites are absolutely flying right now, whereas others have kind of tailed off a little bit, including uh, Best Roof Box, which of course I'll give you a full update on at the end of the month. If you're not already subscribed, you can do so by clicking on my face. Why not check out my vlog channel? Uh, there's a link to that up there. I posted a video just the other day, so yeah, go check it out. There are a couple more videos from this channel that have been chosen specially for you, so I hope you enjoy them. Until next time, bye for now.